वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल बी कवरिंग सब टोटल्स इन ओपन ऑफिस कैल्क सॉफ्टवेयर सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्शन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू डेफिनेशन सब टोटल ऑप्शन अलाउज टू क्रिएट ग्रुप्स ऑन एंटर डाटा एंड देन परफॉर्म डिफरेंट कैल्क फंक्शंस सच एज सम एवरेज काउंट प्रोडक्ट मैक्स मिनिमम एक्सेट्रा सो नाउ डायरेक्टली आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स with doing practicals so now taking the first example i have taken here company product and sales so in company like c company fictitious name i have given k company d company k company and uh, the sales of different products like keyboard monitor mouse pen drives now i want to group all these products so for grouping these products subtotal will be very helpful so how to group this now with the help of this grouping option i want to see the sales also so for grouping it's very simple i'll select this whole range i'll select till here till c13 after this i'll be going where data is written and here you will find subtotals option so you will click upon subtotals and in subtotals option you could see here in this dialog box first group second group third group and options and uh, in first group because in subtotals we can group in three different categories so first group suppose i want to group according to company i want to see the sales of a company i'll click upon group by company and then sales you could see here different functions are available sum count average max etc so i'll be clicking uh, by default on sum and click on okay as a result you will see here it has grouped each and everything based upon the company suppose it will tell that c company how much sales it it is been made by c company keyboard like sales 15 keyboard 60 that two times sale is been done and third time monitor so overall sales of c company is 100 the same way d company mouse was sold pen drive was sold and overall sale is 101 the same way k company 150 so uh, same way m company 105 and total grand total is 456 so i hope this is very much clear how to do it now how to reset this that is also very simple data subtotals although i can use undo command also and from here i can use reset option to reset the whole data so suppose i am clicking on reset and then delete everything is been same as earlier now the same way suppose i have selected the whole data now second scenario i'll take data subtotals now i want to group by product and then in this product i want to see the sales product sales and then sum i can use max also but just now i'm taking sum i'll click on okay now you will see here that uh, product wise it has categorized each and every product now earlier it was company wise like c company then k company the keyboard the keyboard is been sold by these companies like uh, c company and k company and the overall keyboard sum is 150 that means 150 keyboard is been sold the same way monitor is been sold by only like c company none other company is uh, going for the sales of monitor that means only one company is making monitor according to our scenario then uh, mouse the mouse is been uh, sold by many Companies like D company, K company, M company, 
same way pen drives also by many companies so i hope this concept is very much clear to you how to go with subtotals and how it is helping actually it is grouping grouping the whole data either i can uh, group according to company wise or product wise and same way i can find max also suppose now i'm doing undo command control z and then same way data subtotals now the same thing if i want to do with product and uh, sales that i want to find which is uh, maximum sales like then i'll click on sales like uh, product sales and from here max click on ok now if you'll find here little bit i'll increase it keyboard the maximum sales of the keyboard is 75 same way monitor is okay one company is making monitors only or selling the monitor only 25 mouse maximum is 75 and this is here so i hope this concept is also clear now I am taking one another example clicking on sheet 2 now here in this example I have taken staff designation school and salary just a different examples I have taken uh, like designation clerk helper PGT TGT the designation of uh, different persons working in a school now school also like uh, I have categorized it government, private, public like this and some just salaries I have mentioned here. Now I want to group it this with subtotals. So again I will select the whole data and uh, I want to group it with the help of data subtotals. Now here I want to group it with the help of designation. wait i think i have not selected this stuff i have to select the whole data that it is uh, very important i think now it will do the work subtotals now just see it's coming here on the staff i want to uh, click on designation and then i want to select salary and then sum click on ok you will see uh, it has categorized like salary of clerical staff how much helper staff pgt's teacher prt tgt like this now i'm doing the undo command now another option and uh, in this option i'll be using two groups data subtotals now here suppose first group will be same I'll be taking designation salary sum but now after doing this I want to use second group also and here I want to find the maximum salary from a particular group so I'll click upon second group I'll just select the second group from the tab three tabs are there so i have selected second and from here i'll select school salary and now i'll click on max so there are now two groups in second group school salary and max that means the maximum salary now i'll click on ok now if you will see here now as earlier it was showing the sum of the clerk it is showing the same but now it has subcategorized school wise also like government max like 60,000 and the private clerks are getting maximum 20,000 public 30,000 like this the same way helper so I hope uh, it is clear to you how to make groups and subgroups and this subtotal option is helping a lot in all these things one more example I have taken uh, what I have done here, I have taken some students and these are all like different different class they are uh, studying and they are coming from different cities. Suppose I will just sort it according to name 
this I have told earlier also. So these are the students. This is the basic data. Now I want to group it. So just to group it, a simple data, subtotals, and now class wise suppose I want to group it class wise and then class and then class class and I want to count how many students are there in a particular class and I'll click on OK. You could see here in a particular class then in 8th class 3 students are there and in 9th class 7 students and 10th class 7 students and overall students are 17. So this can also be the one condition and if I want to use subgroup in this again subtotals class okay so it was count and uh, in second group I can use city wise I can use city wise city and count so I want to count the students also from which city they are coming and how many are coming. I click on OK. So just see now this uh, report is more meaningful. Like overall students are 3 who are coming in 8th class but from uh, that class from Kalka 1 is coming per 1 or 2 are coming and if you will see here overall students in 9th class are 7. But 4 are coming from Kalka, from Pravanu 1 and from Pinjo 2. The same way for 10th also. I hope, dear students, you are very much clear with subtotals option and how it is helping. You can try other options also like uh, max, minimum, some I have already told you. Still, if anything is not clear, you are always welcome to give a comment at the bottom. So, I am closing my tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.